Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English Full Volume Where I'm here with Dan the Man And we are speaking about God, Do we have to keep doing this? Well this will be the last time this week, okay Dan? The last time, don't worry Okay, I don't know Although I did actually share this with you in a shared Google document You obviously didn't check that document I didn't look at it thoroughly mm. Well when he says there thoroughly um, he means completely. But I then actually deleted everything from it because I thought I've left it in there for a few days. I've given him a chance, but now I'm taking it out just to, you know, keep it to myself. It's all about power, isn't it? All about exactly. power. Exactly. All about power. Anyway, um, well, I think we've spoken about a study like this before, and it's from the University of California. And it says that drinking makes you live longer. They said anyone that drinks two glasses of beer or wine a day were nearly 20% less likely to experience a premature death. What does it mean, premature, Dan? When you die early. Yes, exactly. Um, I I doubt that's true. What do you think, Dan? Yeah. I... I mean, two, two glasses of beer, that, that's enough for me to have a shit night's sleep. Yeah, but that's glasses, not pints. I mean, you you immediately think pints, don't you? Well, I'm English, Dan. Of course I do. Um, anyway, I thought we could uh, use this to have a general discussion about alcohol. Some questions I've not asked you before about alcohol, Dan. Okay. Um, so, how old were you when you first got pissed? Seven years old. <laughs> well, first of all, what do I mean when you first got pissed? Well, the first time I got drunk. And you were seven? Yeah, I was with my dad in Italy he went to a vineyards to um, buy some wine and my dad said can he try the wine thinking he'd given me a little bit and he gave me a full glass and then my dad by the time he could realize what was happened I I drunk it like it was water and then I got drunk <laughs> and how was that experience for you oh terrible terrible <laughs> I didn't know what was going on and I came we came back and then my mum saw me stumbling all over the kitchen it wasn't it wasn't a good time uh, so if you stumble it's like what well, exactly a drunk person stumbles that when they cannot walk very well they stumble well that's dan he started drinking when he was 7 started heroin when he was 8 <laughs> slept with 20 prostitutes by the time he was 9 and then by the time he was like 14 he had he'd done it all so he didn't want to do it anymore exactly what about you uh, I was well. Was well, I was about to say I was old, but probably normal. But in comparison to you, I, I was old. I was like fifteen. Um, I think I drank like three Smirnoff Ices, which was uh, you know a pretty heavy night. Yeah, that's that, that's rock and roll. Do you remember that time we went to that house party with someone we knew, and I was throwing up all over his garden? <laughs> Oh, I remember it very well, Dan. Uh, so he says throwing up, he means vomiting. We often use throw up. It's much more common in England to say that. I remember going outside, everyone saying, where's Dan, where's Dan? And you were lying on the floor and literally chucking up. It was just coming out of your mouth. Um, so chucking up is the same as throwing up. I remember coming in. So I'd, I'd been outside for about two hours throwing up on the floor. And I came in and I was uh, speaking to a girl. And then she looked at me like with a confused look on her face and asked me if I'd been sick and I was like no no of course not of course not anyway when I got home the next day I'd sick all down my coat and my top and there was me convincing <laughs> trying to convince her I hadn't been sick that's why Dan was so successful with the women um back in the day so I say they're back in the day means like in the good times when we were young um so another question for you Dan um do you think there is social pressure to drink in your culture? So your culture, our culture, British culture. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? I remember one of my friends was going out with a girl once who didn't drink and it was just such a problem. He was like, I don't know what I don't know what to do with her. What can I possibly do? Yeah. It's like nothing else existed. But I remember thinking as well, no, you're right. That sh what, what the fuck can you do if she doesn't drink? Mm. But yeah, but I suppose it's a little bit easier now. Now that we're older. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, when and where do you like to drink? This is an interesting one. Um, anywhere, really. So, yeah, I, I always like to... Now, before, I used to drink anywhere. Just as long as it got me drunk, it was fine. Whilst now, I'm, I prefer to pay the extra to sit in a nice bar and enjoy a nice beer. Oh, yeah. I'm not, 
So you're asking me of the, the quality of the bars. Obviously, I'd choose a nice bar, but I, I'm happy to... Well, when you the, didn't say that when, originally, did you? When the weather's good here, I'm quite happy to drink outside by the river. Mm, well, that's it, Dan. Mm. So last question. Do you respect people who can drink a lot? Because often, well, especially in England, it's seen as like a positive thing, like a manly thing. What do you think of that if someone can drink a lot? I couldn't give a fuck. In fact, <laughs> those sort of people that tell me they can drink a lot, I try to stay away from because... Uh, Absolutely. So when he says I couldn't give a fuck, he means um, I don't care, basically. Um, yes, I agree, but it's very strange. Also in other cultures, I think. I remember when I came to Italy and I could drink more than my Italian friends and they all thought I was like some really big sort of macho man. So macho man is a real man, let's say. And I remember actually thinking, no, this is good. I'm a real man. I can drink like six beers on a night and not die like them. Six men of ices. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, I would probably go now and drink six Smirnoff Ices and see what happens, Dan. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, good chat. Okay, I'll let you know what happens. Cheers. All right, speak to you later.